Salut, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the French Empire. <laughs> okay. Evil left aside, we are entering in on a new era where, in two years flat, the scramble for Africa will begin. And you all know what that means. Time to kick in my phase two of kill everyone and take as much land as possible. Which is actually quite interesting because I realized when I was like just applying a war for Oman, I can now establish an entire protectorate and I gain cause of pays debts. debt. Hmm. You know, just for fun, I actually might do that war. I've never actually tried to uh, repay. Never mind. Never mind. Um. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. So, anyways, I I realized that you, if I just held off on my invasion for Oman just a little bit. I would have been able to take them all in one hit because with the, uh, what is it called? The, uh, oh, dang. I'm going to have to memorize this for a second. Uh, for nationalism and imperialism, yes. With that technology, you basically get the free option to annex any uncivilized state in one go. Um, that does not apply to some nations like Egypt. Egypt is an obvious exception. You could not at all annex this big gigantic homie here with just one go you would have to like do multiple conquests and Persia's already civilized so you know and I'm pretty sure you could not annex let me see could you annex no you could not because it's actually not part of its own nation and could, wait could you do <gasps> oh it's so tempting it's so tempting, but I would never recover that infamy loss. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, let's read Le Tom. Let's read Le Tom's. Um, prices collapse. Okay, Belgium. Ugh, dang it. The Belgians ran to power again, so now they're out of our sphere, and now... Ooh, but the good thing is, is that we get to now uh, put all of our influence points into uh, Portugal, which is a state I've actually been wanting for a very long time, if you guys don't know that. I mean, when we were instantly fighting against the Spanish, I did not forget about those Portuguese men and the unbeatable colonial system. I mean, man, did they just have it unbeatable? Okay, and we're going to have to raise taxes on the poor, and that should be good enough for where we have enough money to support our own country. All right. So, yeah, right now we're just going to be, like, industrializing again. Um, I'm actually going to try to focus on some of my other vassal states. You know, uh, build them up a little bit. Like, get some railroads in there. You know, not because they really need it, but just because I'm a nice guy. And, that, if you were following that logic, it was really not logical. And, it seems like we have some type of rebellion happening in the Papel states. Um, are they back there in my sphere? Okay, army, go kick the butt, aw oh, dang, Montenegro, okay, will you deal with the problem, because I'm right now occupied, and I don't really have the energy, and the Pope definitely does not have the money, oh, dang. okay, combine all of our ships, um, you know, I'll just make some new soldiers, I don't feel like getting out an entirely new army for this, by the way, uh, no, I shouldn't expand forwards. And so apparently, a vassal thinks. Wait, migrations. Where are they? Okay. Huh. I guess a lot of people settle here. Yeah, 875 people settle in Dayton. That's very good of you, United States. You're stealing my people. Good job. Good job. Okay, and as we remember from last time, I did kick out the Mexicans, and now the United States own that, so, ha 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 ha, but seriously, we're gonna go, okay, we're just gonna make four soldiers from here, uh, four infantry guards from Europe, Rayon, Lerux, and Karin, Karin, it's Karin, is how you pronounce it, but sometimes it's different ways, and 
without me in this war right now, the Prussians are just destroying the Netherlands. I mean, it's not even a competition. And, yeah. 1869, people. We are so close to that year. But let me, again, start, like, infrastructure, structurally sounding everything. Um, I'm tempted to also sphere Luxembourg just because of its one iron deposit. You know what? Never mind. I'm screw it. I'm screw it. I'm spearing them. They are technically mine anyways, so they're spheared. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes there's these, there's episodes of mine where they're just like completely, Oh, come on! No! No, no, no! Okay. <sighs> Jacobsons? No. French ultra liberals. Okay, well these guys, I'll give them credit, they actually put the, uh, what was it called? The, oh yeah, the Jacobsons, to shame. Okay, then you go right there. Now you're going right there, straight to the capital. Uh, okay. We're gonna have to refund our military because apparently the, the people don't realize that if you guys don't rebel, I won't have to raise taxes anymore. What a revolutionary concept! That way we can all stay happy, dandy, and happy people ever. Because now I have to raise taxes and now I have to go kill our uh, trickler health care. No. I don't care. If I have to go die in a ditch, I'm not giving you guys social health care. Man. But, you know, the one thing I don't like about this game is that it forces you to, to kind of adapt to the, uh... What was it? Okay, the beliefs must be respected. I've kept to that standing this entire game. I'm gonna keep to it now. Okay, you guys go hunt rebels. You guys go hunt rebels. Um, is that it will always force you to make decisions that aren't really fair. Like, it always makes me, it always makes me, like, make that decision of, Oh, yeah, dude, uh, you should, uh, re, you know, uh, give, give healthcare and, uh, education to the people and, uh, better privileges to the elderly. And, you know, that sounds fine and dandy, but what I don't like is the fact that it forces me to do it. Alright? I want to do, if I want to do healthcare, I want to do it on my own terms. Not from some idiot telling me, yeah, you have to do it. I want to do it on my own terms. My, and my own way. Okay. And we have Paris back. That was the only place I cared about. Actually, really, the rest, rest, once Paris is back, we really don't need any other place being in control. And any important events we can enact right now. Sign at Geneva Convention, and are there any more rebels forming? No! The French ultra-liberals are still gaining power. Dang, they have a lot of sway in my... Oh. Dang. And you see what I mean? I'm like now up against a corner, and I'm having to force myself to make a decision to see which one would like... Be when did I give out pensions? Shoot, when did I... When did I even enact pensions? I DON'T REMEMBER THIS! WHAT HAVE YOU BEEN DOING, UPPER HOUSE?! My hand's twitching. My, my, my hand's twitching. Okay, um... Okay, anything else that's a surprise? Okay, public meetings! Heh, <laughs> heh. I don't remember that! Okay, I remember I did free press. Uh, I still have trade unions illegal. Even though they'd probably help my, uh... Economy. I remember these. This would probably help me. Chicken wages could help my immigrant attraction and could help the votes. <sighs> Alright. I'll make a compromise with you guys. If I do this one thing, give you guys minimum wages, you guys will not complain and we guys will not do anything else. Okay? Okay. Break! So. No more complaining about minimum wage. And you rebel bands will disband, right? And you will not kill off my economy. And rise up again. Because I will crush you. Every single time. It just may take me a little bit longer each time. Because you do wear down my army. And flashpoint tensions. I love flashpoint tensions because at this point we have still... What? Oh no. Algeria! Algeria, what do you, what, what, no. Uh, we, we can actually spare the farm of relief. Uh, yeah, you guys go hunt down these guys, you guys go, what? 
When did... Okay, wait. Okay, never mind. These guys, the... This region over here will most likely gain its independence before us, so... No worries. And everyone, let's listen to the wise words of Letomps! As soon as a lot of battles are being won. Okay, intervention, a breakthrough in El Salvador, establishing a penal colony, victory, victory, new party, and bad in research. So we have the new liberal party, or the Republicano, and Mot Modivia fears we are coming. Actually, Modivia? We aren't coming. We are actually here to help you. This is this is one of those times where I'm not going to even sleep, fiendishly laugh. No, for once, this is actually, we're going to try to help you guys form your mighty nation so that we can all have a good time and have a good laugh. And my soon new soldiers just, like, appeared. Uh, hopefully, they didn't get into too many battles. I'm going to create them in Creon. Uh, anyone else? Okay, no, let me see if they're still building. Nope, they died. Alright, so let's build some more. I'm going to build a five army... Uh, three, two cannons, and four, okay, that means I'm going to have to bounce out a little bit. Four, okay, six that, four cavalry. I'd have to include the thing. Okay, eight soldiers, two artillery, and four cavalry. That should be a good balance on me. Says the guy who uses lots of cavalry. All right, and it seems like the propel states... Unlike what I would have thought of, actually controlled the land, but then some de somehow decided, hey, we don't really need our land anymore. And the Americans want us to enter in on a war with probably, uh... Place your bets, everyone. Place your bets. Who are we going to war with? I'm guessing the CSA. Oh! I called it! Yeah, we'll enter in. Ah, dang. Now this is gonna bankrupt my country. Luckily, I got a... A bit of land... So, we're going to be good. Um, hopefully, the United States will actually rise above the pathetic demeanor right now. Because, right now, they put themselves to shame with the fact they let the CSA somehow, uh, you know, expand. I'm going to, like, ex I'm going to expand these, this region before, before my money all runs out. Because I know my money will run out. Ugh. Just, I, you know, I'd like a couple episodes. At least a couple episodes. Five, maybe. To just not me not having money troubles or debt problems. Okay? The French Empire really needs to figure out that there is precious metal right here. In these three regions. And it is quite wealthy of a region. I mean, you could honestly get a lot from that region. And profit a great deal. I don't know. I think all, all the people here are stupid. And that they should, uh, go die. <laughs> but let's see, how's the CSA versus the USA? You gotta be kidding me. USA, how are you losing? How? It's not even fundamentally possible. You ha You have the bigger army. Where's the rest of your army? Where the heck is your army? Uh... I don't really care about them. If it was a bigger country, maybe. Or a more important country, maybe. But dang. You're making me mad. Okay, gain humiliate or gain yeah. I don't really care that much. And I have the biggest army again. And the Doms! War between the USA and CSA. The Ottomans fear our might. The Baden Pruskin relations. Victory, victory, anti-foreign revolt, the breakthrough and Prussel, and the the Lucatan research complete. For and that is the Daily Letomps. Which, if you guys have not figured out, Letomps means newspaper in French. A little bit of, little bit of international culture there. And, okay, finally, yes! Okay, okay, we have to, uh... Dang, what was the technology? Okay, uh... Shoot. Is it analytical physics? Analytical ph physiology? Anti-revolution socialism? Wait. I know I didn't forget anything. Oh, and if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to shoot. I forgot the technologies I was supposed to get to, like, colonize. Can I just do it instantly? No. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. 
Okay, this puts us at a definite disadvantage if we can't figure out the technologies quickly here. What we need to, like, expand our empire and to make sure that we have it. And I know in the comments you guys are going to be eager to tell me about it. And, you know, you guys are welcome to tell me about it, but I probably will already have figured it out by then. So, yeah, I'm probably going to end the episode right now. This might be, like, one of the shortest episodes I have out right now. But I'm going to have to go on some soul searching and figure out what I need in technology to gain what I need. So I'll see you guys in a little bit.